Welcome back to The Dress and Mom. I'm Rika Haven. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and you like what we're doing and give us a thumbs up and some comments if you will. Today I'm really excited. I have a special, special guest here with me. This is Maggie and I've actually known Maggie since she was in third grade. Uh, Tiana, our daughter's best friend and have, they have been for years. So. We're going to do the whole Dress Up Mom program with Maggie, and I've never done this from start to finish with anybody other than me or Tiana, so it's gonna be a lot of fun for me. So Maggie just got back from two plus years in the Peace Corps in Botswana. So proud of her. She came back <laughs> such a worldly, she always was, but such a worldly grounded person. <laughs> so, um, Maggie has been talking about wanting to do a little bit of a change up of her your look now that you're back in the States and figuring out what you're going to do next, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what you're thinking and what, what it is, what your goal is with your look, with what you want to accomplish. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I just want to say thanks for having me, of course, and I'm really excited. But so I did Peace Corps right after I was finished with college. Mm -hmm. And so kind of finishing up with college and my style there, uh, I was an athlete in college. So I wore a lot of kind of what I'm wearing now, just like sweatpants and uh, attire for school would be pretty much what I would wear to practice. So there was not that much style. I guess it's just sporty. And <laughs> so I didn't really have too much to go off of. And then going straight from that into Peace Corps, uh, I kind of wore the same thing like every single day, which was fine because it was really hot so it didn't matter that much and I would always sweat. But <laughs> now I'm back and I kind of want to, uh, I guess, make my look more professional okay. and just kind of fun and a little bit more girly too and uh, just tie all those kind of things together. So, all right, yeah. good. Well, that's great. So what we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do on the episode and this may be either one or more episodes. We'll see how it turns out. but. If you've been watching the channel, you know I love this book called The Signs of Sexy. And what we're going to do is go through and do some measurements on you and take your height and weight and see which room you fit in. And it'll tell us what she should be wearing, what she shouldn't be wearing. And also you get a celebrity person that has your body type. Mm -hmm. So we can then go and even look and see how those people style themselves and figure out how that goes. We also have colors that we're gonna look at. And Maggie bought, brought over a few of her favorite things that we'll, we'll look at. So so we'll take a look and see, based on your body type and all of that, what it is that we might go shopping for and a couple things that we can maybe try to find. And you did you bring some pictures too of the yeah. looks that you're going to So we'll show you some looks and pictures too. So we're going to start with the book and the measurements. And if you, if you know the book, there's this thing called Match Your Shape. And the three different measurements we need to take are our, it's actually four measurements, shoulders, bust, waist, and hips. So let's get started doing that. So the shoulders, we need to place the measuring tape at the top of one shoulder and wrap it around like a shawl. Don't worry about it. And do it like in fast motion. Okay, so we used the book. We did Maggie's measurements and took her height and weight. And she is a medium hourglass. That's, she's the hourglass shape and the medium frame. And so we went into the book here and found the section for medium hourglass. And we'll read through here what the blessings, what to wear, what not to wear. And we found your celebrity person who is? Drew Barrymore. She was very happy about that. And actually knowing you, I think you would look really cute in the stuff that they style Drew Barrymore in. So my glasses here, we're gonna just read through this section starts off wow you are one lucky woman yeah <laughs> you know what your body reminds me of a playboy bunny but in a good way <laughs> you have curves in all the right places one of the sexiest shapes of all the 48 shapes yay <laughs> broad shoulders some flesh on your arms you can be proud to show off uh, might have been a bit of good your hourglass curves mean you can wear body contouring items that show off your figure as well as clothes that reveal some skin Exactly opposite of your sporty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cover everything. <laughs> you have We're gorgeous gonna... <laughs> hips, a full rounded bottom, and shapely thighs. So your curses, 
um, there's not much of a curse. Your problem is that you have a perfect amount of weight in your arms as well as in your hips, thighs, and bottom, but you're so well balanced that if you're not thoughtful about what you choose to wear, you can easily add accidental weight to the wrong places. For example, if you choose the wrong pants or skirt, you'll instantly look more bottom and heavy than you actually are. It's a small margin of error. Also, if you're not careful to accentuate your waistline by inadvertently making your torso appear thicker, your whole silhouette will seem larger than it is. So there's pictures here on what to wear. A little a cute like picture of what to wear and some of your favorite things, off the, things that you could do like off the shoulder, um, skirts, minis are good, hug, hug real, real pencil skirts, high-waisted skirts. We'll kind of read through all of that and see what it says. And then it tells you what not to wear, baggy peasant tops. <laughs> 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 to hit that hit at your low hip or drop waist tops that hug your hip. Stay clear of turtlenecks. I don't think I see you as a turtleneck. Um, nothing like boxy or any of that. Then there's this nice section here that shows examples of sort of great casual career and formal looks. So again, accentuating the hip, you know, you got that great figure and making sure that your hourglass is shown and looked. And it says here that your one fashion must have is a wrap dress. Okay. <laughs> so have you ever worn or do you own a wrap wrap, wrap a wrap dress? <laughs> a wrap dress? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have one. Maybe. Okay. So <laughs> that is the overview on sort of what to wear and what, to, and what not to wear. We're gonna look through this a little bit closer before we go shopping. And we'll look at some of the things that you brought to see how we can make those, incorporate those. And we also need to talk about colors. So we have the, I have this color book and asked Maggie to kind of read through her sections there. And we looked at her coloring and it shows that she's cool and bright. So we're going to, and I think you were telling me a lot of these colors in here, the bright emeralds, kind of the bright reds and purples, mm -hmm. especially purple is a great color, bright turquoise, um, navies and grays. All of these are the colors that we want to stay with Maggie on and down here on the bottom, these beiges, olives. I don't think you wear a lot of this anyway, right? So beiges and olives we're, we're going to stay away from. And I could see that the clothes that you brought over had a lot of these good colors already. So that's the shape and the colors that we're going to be looking for. All right, so Maggie brought over a couple things and she bought this really pretty dress when she was in Botswana, right? Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of good memories, I'm sure, for you. And I, I love a lot about this dress. I do think that it doesn't show off your figure as well as it could. So I would love to see, I mean, sure it's fun to wear around the house, but like, let's say you really wanted to wear this out. I think I would go and alter it a little bit and take away some of this, some of the fabric that's on the ends here, mm -hmm. you know? Maybe keep some of, keep these pieces of it and then somehow be able to cinch your waist a little bit more, maybe even bring it up a little. I think if it was a little bit higher up to show off your nice legs and had, mm -hmm. had it a little bit more kind of fitted like this, I think it could be really a lot of a lot of fun and something that you could wear out. I could see you wearing this then with a blazer over it and all of that and still keep the nice fun fabric, but she use it as something to really show off. I love, I like how it goes nice and be necked here, but I think, and I would love to kind of do this with you. We could even take it to Donna and have her redo this quite a bit to have it really show off your figure. Cool. All right, so here's another dress that Maggie brought. Now this I think is a lot better for your figure. It's nice and short, shows off your legs. Very strong legs. It's Very good. strong, good legs. And it shows off this, your shoulders and your whole area. And then it's also cinched in here at the waist. So it, and I like how this kind of goes over your hips and isn't too clingy here, but isn't also too big. So it shows off the nice hourglass. I could see a, a nice blazer pulled over this or like a shawl if you're going somewhere mm -hmm. with a cute strappy sandal. You could definitely wear the, you know, put it up, dress it up or dress it down with a pair of like ankle boots, 
a jeans jacket. If you're just going out, you know, to have it be, this is great. Okay, so we're going to start our shopping today at My Sister's Closet in La Jolla. And it's a really great place. I love Maggie's Not Been. So My Sister's Closet is actually a chain that was started by two real sisters in the Arizona area. They have, I think, six shops in Arizona and two here in the San Diego area. Um, for another episode, I'm gonna be interviewing the manager of My Sister's Closet so you can find out more about it. But they have a bunch of designer plus very current modern looks for great prices. It's sort of a consignment model. And I don't know, you can just find everything in here. It's really well lit, nicely done. The sisters wanted to make a place that was not kind of a dingy resale, but a really kind of more boutique looking one. And this is it. I've had great luck here with all sorts of stuff. So we're looking for a wrap dress, a blazer, and maybe some other fun stuff to start your new look. Okay, so we've been shopping around. We found some things to try. Some Maggie's like, oh, I'm not sure. But so along the blazer lines, Kind of fun, nice soft fabric, not too um, not too old. This one, we're not sure. We're gonna see it on probably the least of our favorites. But then we found uh, this one, I think. Gray, I think, is a color that's good for you. And this is also like a really nice soft fabric. Would go with everything, and uh, and is a nice shape. Then we have. A black, sort of comfy, easy one as well that she's gonna give a try. And this one's a little more dressy, but could be a fun beautiful color and also yeah, pop a pop of color that she could put over jeans and dress it up. Even maybe that dress you have in your house. So there's that. Then we found some fun skirts. Here's a nice sort of pencil-y one. That's kind of a fun different colors. This one we're hoping is going to fit because it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Very cool. spring. Very spring, and I think nice shape there. We might have to take this in. Then we did find a couple wrap dresses that we're gonna see how those look. Her basic, because she needs to have this one wraps I around. Think super cute. She really likes that. That could be really cute with the colors. And we have this. This is another wrap dress that we found that has a fun flare here of a uh, little bit of cheetah print. Love the cheetah print. So we're hoping those. And then Maggie found some jeans and she also found this for herself, which think, we think will be cute. It'll take the waist down, has a little peplum here, a long thing. And she's gonna try this on with, I think, a pair of white pants that she found here. So we're gonna go take some trying on and we'll show you the best looks and what we end up getting. Okay, so here's the first wrap dress on Maggie. Jane, we'll get out of your way. Oh, I'm going to it. Oh, sorry again. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. Now you're Isn't that cute? So here's the first wrap dress on Maggie. See how it, it has these little prints and it's a nice chiffon. It hugs exactly where it should. Shows off her beautiful figure. I think it's a good color, and this could be something she could dress up or down, jeans jacket and flats, pumps, or a blazer for a wedding. Well, what do you think of this? I think it's really colorful. <laughs> it is a little colorful. I think it's a little too much, but I like, I really like the blazer, and I really like the skirt. Oh, so yeah. I think maybe like a neutral like color. Shirt. Right, okay. so can you, let's pop oh, up this blazer. So I do agree, can you hear us okay? I do agree that this blazer and this doesn't go, but I think the blazer itself is really nice for you. You know, it goes with your color scheme. It's also, it has the sleeves that you like. It takes in the waist, it's nice and low cut, and it's a fun color, so you can put this with jeans, with black, with anything else, and I think it'll really kind of spruce up some stuff. Now let's take this jacket off and see what we've got going on here under it. Because I do like this a lot. I love this. I love this skirt on Maggie. It fits you great in the waist. It has the nice A-line shape. It's youthful and very spring-like. Has the right color scheme and this nice V-necked with your sleeves 
top. I think this is a really cute outfit. What do you think? I like it too. You like that? I think that's a keeper for you. And that's a nice silhouette as well. And again, you can wear your um, wear that up or down. You can put a sweater over it later, but you can also wear that anywhere professionally too. Yeah, definitely. So here's a little blazer that we found with the red and white stripes. A little bit on the sleeves we can have in. But I don't know how you feel about this blazer, Maggie, but I love it on I like you. It too. I really love it on you. With, like you say, with some jeans, I could also see it with a cute, like, navy skirt or even like red, or you could pop it over a sweater or a jean shirt or a jean jacket. I think it really fits you well. It cinches in the waist, it shows down here. It fits up, it's a nice length for here. Um, I think that's pretty good. I like it too. I kind of like it. I think it accents my waist, yes. uh, which is good, and then it kind of flares out a little bit. Yeah, and it doesn't flare out too much. It's hip, it's hip tugging enough to where it doesn't flare out too much and it goes down in here. I think that's really nice on you and I really like the way the stripes go in and accentuate all in here into your waist. I think that's beautiful. There's a, another blazer here that's black. We haven't, we haven't tried that on. I wanna see what this will look like with a blazer. I can't, I wanna make sure you can hear me. So this is another way then to take that and dress it down a little bit or make it a little bit more casual. This is just a very casual blazer. I'm not sure if I like the length as much on this, but you get the idea on how you can put something like this over it too. Okay, so you have the, she has a kind of a pleated black skirt here with the blazer. And what do you think about this, Maggie? Um, I think this is a really fun and nice look. I think it can be professional, but you can kind of go out. Yeah, I, I like that too on you. I like the length, and again, it doesn't flare out as much. How's the, what's the top? It's just a nice A-line, right? So, personally, I know the other black leather one was sort of cuter and more youthful. I think this one's more flattering, personally. I don't know. What do you think? I think so, too. Yeah. It a... Yeah, it still has a lot of fun and flair, and again, you can have fun with this with, you know, boots and even I could even see a um, like a Levi's uh, shirt you know like a chambray shirt mm -hmm. to really make it be just fun and funky and then dress it up at night oh I bet it would look really cute with your black and white that you just got yeah yeah it could look really good with that too and the blazer you know puts it all in into place okay here's Maggie in another wrap dress now I definitely see why your body type wants a wrap dress because this looks great on you. I think we might, this part is a little bit big. We could have that taken in. But what do you think? How do you feel on this? I feel good. I feel like older and mature and I think it looks really nice and it flatters good parts of me but it's also coverage too. So. Yeah, absolutely because the sleeves are the sleeves that you said you like. It has a nice low beat. You have such a great this part of your body. It also it fits you really well, the way that it goes on your hips. I mean, like, wait, can you do the spin for us? <laughs> Woo! And I really like these colors on you too. The navies and the green you told me is your favorite color. Yeah. So I think that's really nice on you. I think that's good. I think yes, you're doing a good job. Yes, so we found some great things. Okay, so we're ready to check out. Here are the things that Maggie's going to get. She's going to get this really cute wrap dress which is going to be professional. So you can take to an interview, wear out nicely. This cute, cute top she found herself, which is great. This we love <laughs> with jeans. This one again, a little bit more professional and a pop of color that you can put over anything and the stuff that you already have. Super, Super spring, skirt. spring cute skirt, a jeans jacket, a white shirt top underneath, like a, just a t-shirt with a B, and then this fun skirt that can be also dressed up and down and looks great on your figure. So I think we did really well, Maggie. I think so too. Question, do you feel like you learned anything? Do you feel yeah. like this is gonna change how you shop or you look to shop? Oh, definitely. I mean, I feel like too, there are a lot of things here that I wouldn't originally have gotten for myself because of like the color or the style or things like that. But I feel like now that I 
kind of know my body a little bit more. I'm like, oh, this does look good, or this is kind of how I should style myself. And great. yeah, that was great. So oh, I learned a lot. Yeah. I'm so happy. Well, thank you all again so much for watching. And Maggie, thank you so much. This was really a treat and a joy so for happy. me. So please check us out again. And until next time, dress it up a little.